back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be a what's on my nails video. I'm super excited to create this video because if you've been following this channel then you know that I recently moved and it's been kind of in um, a journey finding a new nail tech and a new place to go to. I can't say that I'm completely settled on the nail shop that I went to this time around but um, I will say that it's okay. So um just a little background, I recently cut my long curved um, stiletto shaped nails down and I did that just because I wanted something new um, and also my nail tech was going up in price. It seemed like every time I went to the shop. Now, although I will pay for the service that I am getting, I just wanted to have a, a, a nail style that would fit into my budget, the budget that I am trying to be into, or the budget that I'm trying to maintain now um, based on my future goals. And then also, like I said, I wanted to try something different. I, I typically have long curve, still little shaped nails. And I just, like I said, I wanted something different. So I did get my nails cut down before I left uh, Michigan. And um, I rocked those nails for about, it was like a, a peach color, if I remember correctly. Um, you can always go back to see the, the nails that I'm referencing in my last What's On My Nails video right here on this channel. Um, however, I kept those on for about three weeks. I did go and get my toes done here at a different um, nail salon. And I really enjoyed getting my, my pedicure. I liked how they did the nails there. I did watch and see some of the um, clients that they had. And their nails looked really good when they left. However, it's a far distance from where I'm living. Um, I think it was like a 35 minute drive. And so I decided to find something closer. I did find something closer. And one thing that I can say that I like about this nail shop is that they did do my nails thick. If you've been watching my What's On My Nails videos, then you know I do like my nails to be thick, especially because my nails have a natural curve in them and they do grow out pretty long. I'll, I'll allow them to grow out long. And so I don't want my nails to break. I don't want them to be thin. Um, I have gotten comments under my videos that your nails don't necessarily have to be thick in order to be strong. And I believe that, but I feel more comfortable and I like the, the look and also the feel of having thicker nails. So when I went to the shop, he looked at my nails. Um, my previous nail tech in Michigan told me that I would need a full set next time I got my nails filled. He told me that I could keep the set that I have. He'll just do like an overlay over my nails and repair them that way. And um, I went ahead, I chose the color that I wanted. I did get gel and I'm going to go ahead and reveal what they look like. And then I'm going to talk to you about how I feel. So before I reveal what they look like, if you are interested in seeing my nails, hearing uh, more of my nail journey and my nail story this time around, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. All right, so... This is what my nails look like this time around. So they're still the shape that I had my nail tech in Michigan um, create. They were like a square, but not too defined square shape, which is fine. Um, I do like the thickness of the nails. I do think that the consistency as far as the um, like the overall finish is okay. I think, you know, if you're looking at it from a far distance, it doesn't look bad. It actually looks good in my opinion. However, if you go up close, um, there are some things that I don't like about these nails. Okay, so right here you can see there's like a dip in my nail right here. And I don't know if it's the polish. I don't think it's the polish. I think it's the gel that wasn't filed correctly. Now that's a little fix in my opinion that could be filed. I can file it or he could have filed it. Um, also, I'm just trying to see what else. So the shape. Um, for, we'll just look at this one, these two. This nail is, is open. Um, he did take the drill and go under all of the nails, but this one he went with the, under the nail with the drill a little bit longer than this one or a little bit better than this one. This one, it just, I don't like the end finish right here. And you can see the difference. I do like the color, I like the polish. I think the polish is really 
nice. It is gel, like I mentioned, like I cured it and everything. The reason that I'm mentioning the polish is because there are some places that you'll go to and the polish just will not look right. Um, the polish is patchy or it's too light or, you know, they're not consistent on every nail. One nail looks dark, the other nail doesn't. One nail has enough polish, the other nail doesn't. So I think they did a really great job with the polish consistency and also doing the overlay. I am giving this company a lot of, or this salon a lot of slack um, just because they had to do a lot of repair work. Meaning that even my nail tech in Michigan wanted to take off my nails and put a new set on because they were pretty old. Um, they were lifting on certain spot in certain spots. Like I said, I have curved nails. So at a certain point in my nails, my nails start to lift because my natural nail starts to curve even more the longer it gets. And the gel is kind of like, it just kind of comes, it creates a gap. And if I'm not careful, if I don't go to someone that knows what they're doing, I can get like a fungus on my nails. So I'm, I'm really careful about making sure that I'm going to someone that knows what they're doing, especially if I'm going to grow my nails back out longer. If I decide to keep my nails short, which right now they're not too short, but they're not anywhere near the length that I typically wear them. Um, again, you can go back to some of my What's On My Nails videos if you want to see how I typically wear my nails. Um, however, you know, because I, I do plan on keeping this shape and I do plan on growing them out, um, at least for now, I do want to go to someone that will make sure that I don't have any lifting, any cracks or anything like that. Um, when I decided to go and get my nails done, all my nails were still intact. I did not have a broken nail or anything like that. So I'm thankful for that. However, my nail did, my, my polish chipped, um, and I just, that just irked me every time I looked at it. So I went ahead and I went in. I did not have to schedule an appointment. Um, the salon that I went to was not packed at all. They did take my temperature. Um, they had me write down my phone number, my name, and it was pretty prompt service. Uh, I got to look through like a book to pick the color that I wanted. They had a really, really nice um, like arrangement of different colors to choose from. So I appreciated that. I didn't see any designs uh, around the shop, so I didn't know if they did designs or if they do freehand or what kind of designs they do. But I really didn't want to design, to be honest, um, at that point anyways. I just kind of wanted to see how the nails would look and if I wanted to continue to go to that salon. Um, now, I did um, see someone else's nails that I like down here and asked them what salon they went to. And they told me it was another salon actually closer to my home. So I'm debating now if I want to go back to the salon that I went to this time around or if I want to try a completely new salon that's closer even closer to the salon that I went to to my house plus her nails look really well my only concern with that is I really don't like mixing products you know every time you go to a different nail salon there's a chance that you're getting a different product as far as gel not all gel is the same not all acrylic is the same they're different products and like I said every a lot of times every a lot of different shops use a lot of different products so I kind of don't like to mix the different products around because it, it just it starts to have my nails not looking as clear and as healthy as they could look if I decided to just stick with one person. Uh, however, I'm in the process of searching around and finding that right fit. So I do understand that it is going to take um, probably a couple of visits to find who I'm comfortable working with. This shop that she recommended um, that's closer to my house is a lot busier, a lot more busy than the shop that I went to. Um, every time I drive past it, I see lots of people in there. I see lots of cars. And so, um, you know, I just, I kind of just wanted to get in and get out. So I don't know what I'll do next time. I'll go ahead and show you my nails again. So you all can let me know what you think about my nails. Um, ultimately, I think if my nails were a little bit more defined, uh, they don't have to be super, super square, but I do want them more defined. Like I want the sides filed a little bit more and, um, I just, I just want them a little bit more neat and crisp looking. They don't look bad. They do look nice. I have gotten compliments on them. Again, I like the color. I like the consistency. He did have a lot of work to do as far as fixing my nails. So he did a great job with that. They don't feel thin or, the, or flimsy. They're not lifting. All of the corners are covered. He did a great job with the overlay. Great job with the polish. Um, a decent job, you know, with the consistency. Uh, I would say, you know, I'm not, let me take these in back. He did a good job with the consistency as far as the application and also as far as the polish. Um, but the areas that I would like to be fixed if I had to go back, 
which I'm not going to do. You know, I'm, I was okay with this because if I wasn't, I wouldn't have, you know, left. I was okay. You know, I wasn't extremely happy, but it was okay. Like I said, um, I just wanted my nails to be a little bit more defined and a little bit more clean. Even this pinky, you can kind of tell it's not like a full, sharp, crisp, um, like square shape that I'm, I'm normally used to. So yeah, that's what my nails are looking like. So leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about these nails this time. Again, I don't think they look bad. I think they look pretty cute. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go back to the same salon and I don't know if I'm going to try something new, but I definitely will keep you updated on this channel um, throughout my nail journey. So I do want to thank you all for watching this video. I uh, want to remind all of you to subscribe for more videos like this and also for business related content. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.